My name is Dan Dorfmiller. I'm the author of Print Reading for Construction textbook. Goodhart Wilcox and I would like to welcome you to the eighth edition of this textbook filled with new content, including updated photos and illustrations throughout the book, expanded coverage using metric scales in Unit 3, more in-depth information on construction materials in Unit 7, additional information on open web joists and floor trusses in units 11 and 12, enhanced coverage on developing a takeoff and estimate in unit 17, new questions and activities in the test your knowledge review sections, and new videos covering the key topics in the textbook units to help you get started. In unit one, I will explain why drawings are important in the construction industry identify what is included in a set of construction drawings, describe how drawings and prints are made, and how to handle prints properly. Let's get started. In each unit, there are many technical terms that a new print reader would need to become familiar with. Shown here on page three of unit one of the textbook, take a few minutes and review these terms and their meaning in the glossary section of the book starting on page 382. Construction drawings are created using orthographic projection. They are used to communicate the architectural and engineering design of the project. They are supplemented by the specifications, which are included as a part of the documents. The drawings show the components, materials, and methods of construction. Information needed for construction is communicated on drawings. A print is a copy of a drawing, and for many years we called this a blueprint. Blueprints consist of white lines on a blue background. Today, prints have dark lines on a white background. They are printed out using a large format printer. On small construction projects, most necessary information for the construction is usually included on the plan, drawing, or drawings, elevations, and some section and detail drawings. On some residential projects, the electrical layout may also be included on the floor plan. On larger projects, drawings making up a set of construction documents are typically organized in sections and have a letter identification for each section. These letter classifications are specified in the uniform drawing system. The most common letters used are highlighted in blue. G for general, C for civil, L for landscape, S for structural, A for architectural, F for fire protection, P for plumbing, M for mechanical, E for electrical, and Z for contractor shop drawings. The main letter sections are further broken down into numbers identifying types of information that is included within the letter classification, like zero for general, one for plans, two for elevations, three for sections, five for details, for instance, six for schedules and diagrams, all the way to nine for 3D views. Here is an example of a title page, identifying the project name, location, contractor, architect, civil, and structural engineers. Also note the letter and the number classifications. And also note the list of the drawings and the last date issued for the project. Common types of prints found in a set of construction documents include site plans, floor plans like architectural and structural, elevations, both interior and exterior, sections, details, and schedules like door and room finish schedules. Learning what is in a set of drawings always starts by reviewing the table of contents, then flipping through the entire set 
of drawings, page by page. I know this sounds like a lot of work on large projects, but I encourage you to try it. A few words on properly handling prints. Never write on them unless authorized to make changes. Keep prints clean. They need to last the entire project. Do not eat or drink near prints. This should be obvious. Always fold or roll prints carefully. I prefer rolling prints inward so that when you roll them out, they don't curl up. Do not lay sharp objects on prints. Again, obvious. Keep out of direct sunlight. The sun will fade the drawings and store in a clean, dry place. You don't want your set of drawings to look like this. It all starts with getting that mental image, visualization, then interpretation, the ability to understand the lines, symbols, dimensions, notes, and other information on the drawings. This completes Unit 1. For additional videos, please visit my website, www.printreading.us. Thank you.